now that we know what a ship key is and how to create them let's continue with the rest of the character expression okay so continue from where we stopped the last time to look at our character uh, we could just you know continue from where we stopped the last time and create you know so I don't start to give for years so I create one shape key L to select everything move it up and then I start to grab um, I start to the grab vertices and then I start to the move them upward just to give something of this nature you know everything we will be seeing goofy you know stretch to give you the look of something like this so let's just see proportional editing there on so i go fit make the second one for the second side is by using this first one click you know from new misc when you click that arrow down from new misc when you click on so you go fit you know change the name to uh wow so when you create a new shape key see so you start editing in edit mode like so and then so once you are done you go back to object mode and slide you can see the effect of that so now if you want to create for the second side you could just click the arrow this thing and say new from shape key and then you rename it to r make sure that this slider is turned fully on when you want to mix it when you want to create another one and if it's on then once you are done with that click the new one you just created and um, you click the new one you just created and you mirror it to the other side so you repeat the same thing over and over again so if i don't create the you know this is i blink you see i i create another one by pressing plus button uh in the shape key menu where they our right hand side here so if you click the plus button you go fit rename and by double clicking so once in edit mode then you you do whatever you need to do you know to give the illusion or the look of what you intend you think you intend to do so if now blink so you give in edit mode you start moving vertices all around to give you the um illusion of say the character they blink so once you are done with that what thing you could do next we say you will go to object mode and you know turn on fully turn on the slider like from zero to one that is the hundred percent uh this thing so once it is in hundred percent like so then you create a uh, name from shape key by clicking the arrow this thing the arrow button with the face down to so say from shape uh new from minsk i forgot it so once you click down that one you go fit rename blink underscore r so you click that one and mirror it to the next one you go fit slow down this video actually so to see what exactly i did do to so go go for the mount i go use lasso selection to select the part of the mouse like this so all the parts i want to select i will fit to use c again to you know add more selection and make sure see nothing from the the above this thing no they selected so now what i want to do now be this ah so i do try to select from this side downward <laughs> so after i don't so you go fit enter the head by zooming him to to make sure see the tongue of your character to be selected because if you open your mouth ah, the tongue to come out so put your this thing here change that one to 3d cursor and then start rotating from that angle so now if you rotate this from you know since you don't change your 3d cursor um, from the option you change to 3d so the movement the rotation could happen from from where the 3d cursor is so uh, I, I did try to test some things out here so i want even add more selection from the mat to see the effect of this maybe now where i go like okay so um So let's just change this back to medium point and move this thing backward a bit because if you like say the thing down they go forward too much so now 
just keep going like so anything we know understand you it ask for what's up no worry i will respond to you because like i said this video day you know fast a bit so and i don't do a lot of work to just you know uh start to the trick things you know we're gonna waste our time because anything we you know understand you if it ask me and you if it slow down this video so after you don't open the mat now turn on since your this thing the turn on proportional editing by the time you did you know you know try to open the mat that time make sure see your proportional editing no day on because if you do on that time you know go make sense so after you don't do um after you don't open the mat then you use proportional editing and you go start to the move point remember to turn on mirror to mirror you can see i'm above to your right hand side uh under option bar you will see x and now see you know i don't tell you that one before you can see x y z so if you click x whatever you do in the right hand side or left hand side go the mirror to the uh next to the other side for one side go the mirror to the other side so so what you they do now we say uh, they try you know shape the matter of my character to just look like something we take the descent so we say when people see them we know say okay this character they open mouth like so so I just continue to the trick vertices to you know achieve something uh, more appealing so <sighs> the major reason why the fast my why they accelerate or my tutorial now be saved there are things to be saved you know we just don't need to the western on top arm so to create another key make sure see you click on basis now what you going to do from beginning to the end any key where you don't want to create first click on basis that is the first shape key where you create so click on it and then click on plus button to create a new one so be like say here what i do what i want to do now mouth smile so you select this one with the here now turn on uh, proportional editing and increase the influence of the proportional editing turn on mirror from that x where i just click on now and then choose scale manipulator and then try to the scale in x and y axis little by little so once you are done with that you can fit you know uh, uh, change your media change your distance back to your cursor back to medium point you know how to do that one now and uh, start moving your vertices up and down to just make to just you know now now smile where we they try to we won't make our character smile so we just just like we did to the mat of the character we just start to move points you know remember to turn on proportional editing move point to one side it could reflect for the other side so from so i go mix i go create another one and then i go name and smile dot uh, uh so create a vertex group now it's above shape keys you create a vertex group name one character left the other one character right so now what i go do we say i go make sure so just like you want to delete one side of the character we should say you select the entire side of the character if it starts with the right hand side of the character first so if you go to make sure see you the um, vertex mode actually so make sure say you select everything from this side everything you zoom in to see if not everything we dislike because if you know draw away where you go run into some issues except the only thing we you know go select now the one way split the character into two because that one now the one way they may do so it goes with this one it, and it also goes with the left one so you go leave them for now you go i can tell you what you go do with time later so after you don't make sure see you select by if you press b for box selection so now it go make sense we go fit select this thing properly so to see your uh, uh character very well you can fit zoom in and then make sure everything is selected and from here from where it turn everything to one which is 100 percent and click on 
assign to assign that weight to that part so do exactly the same thing to the left hand side of your character like so so let me quickly explain something before i finish uh this thing what thing they do now right now they say i want to make sure say everything from the left hand side they selected aside the one where they may do so for the shape key we did under the vertex group we say if you want to create a shape key let's say you don't create one shape key for this one so you want to create them for the second one so after you don't create this one go to object mode you know slide the slider to one 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 hundred percent which is one and then you go to that arrow key with the face down click on it and then say new from shape key new from mix or whatever so once you click that one you go fit test the new one where you create because you go fit rename them to left if now an uh, eyebrow up right left you do before you go fit name the second one eyebrow up uh, right left right so if you don't make the right if you slide the slide down you go see the control the first one where you make before so to make it they control this one and not this one you could just click the arrow key where you just use now to to create from mask from mix sorry then you could see mirror uh shape key so if you click on mirror shape shape key and you turn on turn up the slider you will see say the slider go show for here so now i don't finish so if you press select for here now you can see say you go select only the ones way uh for the right side so now at the cc there are some things where i never you know select for the right part of the character so i will just select everything again and then click assign to assign every new versus we are just select we are just add to my selection so for the next two will i say something they did so as i they talk they go if you know so anything you know just understand let me know in on whatsapp i could just explain so select the vertices where they may do by double clicking you know on it so if you double click on it for just for the head no need to do for the body so make sure the weight is you know 0 0.5 which is assigned for character right and choose character left and assign them again so as you don't do that one now so you go go back to shape keys so if I press select for left now, I go select even the one way they may do now. And if I go to right vertex group and I press select, you go select for everything for the right hand side of the character. So just to show that this thing works correctly, because if I press select and I see say something where I'm not supposed to add, don't do the I go need to correct that. So go back here and then for smile.l turn it up new from shape key to remain to half smile and then from smile choose left far left choose left for vertex group and for right for right click on right smile right and then choose vertex group right so now what i want to do now mouth open mouth close sorry because i just want the a situation whereby the character mouth they closed so I could select the vertices here and then choose scale manipulator and scale inward the first one and the inner one. So that will be the end of this tutorial too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Any question, just you know ask me on WhatsApp and it will be answered. Thanks for watching. See you in another tutorial. Bye bye.